we shall take up the uh, application of the Kuwait flow model. Kuwait flow model is a proxy for boundary layer flow model, but uh, with a very drastic assumption, but which nonetheless uh, helps us to assess what is the effect of property variations on mass transfer. So, in effect, you recall that we said that the, the recommended practice for uh, for property correction is to take the ratio of the molecular weight uh, at the W state and the infinite state and uh, raise it to a power. Today, we are going to look at that proposition whether there is any theoretical justification for that. So, what we will do is we will consider a mass transfer situation in which a certain gas is being injected into a laminar boundary layer of air and in the T state, we have the gas. The gas may be pure, in which case omega T will be 1 or it may be a mixture of air and the gas, in which case omega T will be a fraction. We do the same thing for a turbulent boundary layer. Uh, and in both these, I shall show that the, the analytically derived result will actually show that the mass transfer coefficient g is in fact influenced by the molecular weight at infinity divided by the molecular weight uh, at W state. And then finally, we will solve a, a practical problem uh, in which there is a benzene evaporation in a convective environment. So, the main objective of application of the convective uh, uh, of the Kuwait flow model to convective mass transfer is really to study effect of fluid property variations. So, let us consider the first case of a uh, let us say laminar Kuwait flow of air as it is shown here and in Kuwait flow as you know the velocity profile is assumed linear with velocity profile in u infinity uh, at a distance delta from the wall there is a gas being injected here uh, at the wall. So, consider a laminar Kuwait flow of air in which a gas with a specified omega gas T here omega gas T is injected. Develop the relationship G by G star as a function of B when the gas is either CO2 or helium or hydrogen. Now, why we have chosen this is that the uh, three gases is that molecular weight of CO 2 is of course, 44, whereas molecular weight of air is 29, molecular weight of helium is 4 and that of hydrogen is 2. So, you can we have gases whose molecular weight is both bigger, higher or lower as well as lower than that of air. So, this is uh, this will be a good case to see how the uh, uh, how do these uh, property variations affect g over g star. So, in the Kuwait flow model all the derivatives with respect to x are 0. So, the, con the mass conservation equation will give d rho u by d x equal to 0, which implies that d rho v by d y equal to 0 and which means that rho v is a constant with respect to y. Rho into v is constant with respect to y and therefore, n w the mass flux at the wall will be rho w v w equal to rho v equal to constant and similarly, the species e is transfer equation which as you know is uh, d by d x of rho u omega plus d by d y of rho v omega equal to uh, d by d y of rho m d d omega by d y and since there is no uh, no chemical reaction there is no uh, r term here, but since all the gradients here are neglected uh, in the x direction. So, therefore, d by d x term vanishes and rho v is a constant equal to n w and therefore, we will have n w equal to d omega by d y equal to d by d y of rho m d uh, uh, d omega by d y. That would be the uh, scalar transport equation for the species omega g, uh, the gas species being injected. N w d omega g by d y 
equal to d by d y rho m d d omega g by d y. Should I integrate that from 0 to y, then you will see the left hand side will simply integrate to n w into omega g y minus omega g at w because n w is constant and this term will integrate to rho m d omega g by d y uh, at y minus rho m d omega g by d y at the wall w. Now, we will replace this from the boundary condition at the wall and that is what is shown on the next slide. So, we know that n w is rho m d omega g d omega g by d y at w divided by omega g w minus omega g t and therefore, that quantity is simply n w into omega g w minus omega g t. So, if I substitute that in this expression here for that, then you will see I will get n w into omega g y minus omega g w equal to the gradient diffusion here at the at any y minus this uh, quantity which is n w into that denominator. So, you will see n w omega g w gets cancelled on both sides and therefore, I have rho m d d omega g by d y at any y equal to n w into omega g y minus omega g t. Now, here d is constant. We assume that the diffusivity is not going to be function of omega g. Also, the pressure and temperatures are absolutely constant uh, and therefore, there is no, uh, which means this is a case of a pure injection of a gas. There is no variation of temperature or pressure in the y direction and therefore, d will be constant, but the density will be function of the mass fractions because rho m is equal to p by r u t into molecular weight of the mixture and the molecular weight of the mixture is given by omega g over m g raised to minus 1. Basically, what I am saying is m mix sigma omega j m j raised to minus 1 and therefore, that will be equal to 1 over omega g divided by m g plus omega air divided by m air and that would be nothing but omega g over m g plus omega 1 minus omega g over m a, which will transfer to uh, m a m g divided by m a omega g plus 1 minus omega g into m g. So, that will be the mixture molecular weight uh, which will vary with omega g in this manner. P by r u t remains as it is, P and T are constant and m a m g divided by m a omega g plus m g 1 minus omega g. So, should I substitute for this rho m here and then integrate, then you will see this is what would happen. Uh, basically, you will see that what I have got here is into uh, m g m a divided by m a omega g plus m g 1 minus omega g into d omega g by d y uh, equal to uh, n w into omega g minus omega g t and therefore, should I reorganize this equation, you will see I will get d omega g divided by omega g minus omega g t into m a omega g plus m g 1 minus omega g equal to n w p by r u t into 1 over m g m a. So, that is what I have got. Now, I am going to integrate this from w to infinity state and likewise this one from w to in well d y here from uh, 0 to delta. 
the integration will go from 0 to delta and this will then become n w p r u t uh, delta divided by m g m a. So, that is what you will see on the slide here. Now, the left hand side which I have shown here on uh, in writing this would transform to a time this will be a quadratic like uh, uh, denominator a times omega g square plus b times omega g plus c that is what it will be and that is what I have written here. So, you can see here it will be n w uh, r u t uh, delta divided by p m g m a d and a omega j square plus b omega g plus c where a is equal to m a minus m g b is equal to m g minus omega g t which is given into m a minus m g plus c is equal to minus m g uh, omega g t. So, the left hand side integration which is from wall state to infinity state and in the infinity state there is no gas there is pure air and therefore, that is 0 and uh, the left hand side is uh, integrates to 1 over under root b squared minus a c l n of 2 a omega g plus b minus b squared minus 4 a c and likewise here with plus sign omega g w to 0 and therefore, you get 1 over m g omega g t into m a minus m g l n 1 plus b plus omega g t into b m a minus m g in minus 1 takes a little uh, is simply substituting a b and c in here and what would we be in the present case omega g infinity which is 0 minus omega g wall divided by omega g wall minus omega g t as usual uh, which would be nothing but omega g w divided by omega g t minus omega g wall and what would be omega g uh, therefore, omega g wall itself can be given as omega g t into uh, b over 1 plus b. We will make use of this relationship in the next slide. So, if you see so from the quid flow model we know that n w is equal to g b and I can replace r u t by p into m g as simply 1 over rho g uh, well known and therefore, the right hand side will simply become uh, uh, g b delta divided by rho g m a d rho g m a d the m g part goes out r u t goes out and p goes out and therefore, you get uh, and d is the diffusion coefficient which is which you said is constant. So, if I now integrate the left hand side and right hand sides then you will see I will get I can form reformulate this as g delta divided by rho g into diffusivity is equal to m a by m g into l n 1 plus b star over b star where b star is actually given by b into 1 plus omega g t m a by m g minus 1. Of course, there is a little algebra here in rearrangement uh, of about 5 or 6 lines and uh, this is the modified driving force b star which is uh, in if the properties were constant uh, and we did not uh, worry about molecular weight difference then m a by m g would be 1 and this term would simply cancel out. Uh, also, it shows that uh, if omega g t uh, was very, very small let us say uh, very, very small fraction let us say like something like 0.1 or something like that then b star would simply equal b. So, the modified b star very much depends on the concentration of the uh, gas being injected from the t state and therefore, uh, g over g star would simply become l n 1 plus b star over b star g over g star of the variable property solution would be b over b star. I have written this equation for g uh, when v is finite and g star as you know is when v is tending to 0 or b star is tending to 0 and therefore, g over g star uh, uh, of the variable property uh, case would be l n 1 plus b star over b star uh, is the answer to our problem. 
Now, g over g star of the constant property case would of course, be ln 1 plus b by b as you will recall. Uh, we have done this several times before. So, here I have used v p and c p as uh, subscripts to represent that this is a variable property solution, whereas this is a constant property solution. Now, let us see what does it imply. So, if we take the case in which omega g t is equal to 1, then what would be the g over g star versus b relationship. So, if b is equal to 0, then uh, in the constant property case g over g star would be 1 and so it would be in the variable property case irrespective of the gas. Remember b star is a function of the uh, omega g t and the molecular weight of A and the gas. So, uh, here I am considering the variable property solutions for carbon dioxide, helium and hydrogen and here I am considering the case of constant property where of course, the molecular weights do not matter. So, if B is equal to 0 0.25 then the constant property solutions go like that simply ln 1 plus B by B whereas, the variable property solutions go like that. So, you can see for CO2 G over G star of the variable property is greater than G over G star of constant property throughout throughout. Converse is the case when molecular weights are small that is helium has a molecular weight of 4 and you can see that G over G star under the variable property case is less than the values for constant property case and that is the reason why we, we, we worry about uh, and you can see the difference increases as B increases. Uh, you can see it is 0.4144 here for helium whereas, it is 0 0.462 and factor of nearly 3 uh, and the factor becomes even bigger when we go to uh, hydrogen. In each of this case of course, I can what, uh, what is implied here is omega g w. So, when omega g t is 1 and b is very very small then of course, uh, omega g w is small, but it goes on increasing as b increases. So, the value of omega g at the wall uh, goes on increasing with omega g t is equal to 1. So, you will see omega g t equal to 1 implies that the gas is the only transferred substance and, all, and b star would then be b into m a by m g because you will see that uh, if omega g t is equal to 1, you will get 1 minus 1 cancels out and therefore, you will simply get b into m a by m g and that is what, what I have said here. So, b is b star is simply augmented uh, by m a by m g. g over g star variable property of C O 2 is greater than g over g star because m C O 2 is greater than m a. Whereas, for helium and hydrogen this trend reverses and omega g w increases with b. So, we have shown that uh, g over g star in a laminar boundary layer will be affected by m a by m g. Uh, now, how is m a by m g related to m infinity by m w and that is what our interest is, but before we do that let us look at the value of omega g t being very very small. So, in this case b star almost equals b because, uh, because as you will see here this is 0 0.01 very very small value. Uh, and therefore, it will try to annihilate the effect of m a by m g to some extent and that is what we will see here. So, for example, for C O 2 you will see that the constant property and variable property solutions go almost same uh, very, very, very little difference. And so, is the case with uh, variable uh, uh, hydrogen and helium. So, when omega g t is very, very small apparently it does not matter whether we allow for variable properties or not. So, this is a very important deduction that we have got. Just a reminder that omega g t equal to 0 0.01 implies that the gas is in the transfer substance is a very, very small fraction and the rest is air. So, all are very close to what the constant property solution will be. So, if, if, if you have a very weak uh, concentration of the gas in the transfer substance stays, then constant property solutions are quite valid. Uh, only when the, uh, the transferred gas 
is the only substance being transferred, then you have to worry about correcting property corrections. All right, next slide. Now, let us try and interpret m a by m g in terms of m mix infinity by m w. Now, what will be m mix in the w state? It will be simply as you will see m g into omega g w into m a into 1 minus omega g w and m mix infinity will be uh, m a because omega g infinity is 0 and therefore, the from slide 4 we will get b star is equal to 1 plus omega g t m a by m g minus 1 and b star over b would be uh, given by all this uh, algebra. I have replaced m a and m g in terms of m mix w and m mix infinity and therefore, g by g star v p divided by g star g by g star c p will be l n 1 plus b star over b star into b over l n 1 plus p and this clearly shows the influence that uh, of m mix w divided by m mix infinity uh, uh, on, on the on the value of g over g star c p b star over b would be given by that and the rest is this. Now, if omega g t is equal to 0 or tending to 0, then of course, b star is equal to b, but if omega g t is 1, then as you know, b star is equal to b m a by m g. Now, here what I am trying to do is to simply show that how does m mix w and m mix infinity influences arise. For specific cases, uh, we have to uh, find a proper property correction uh, and therefore, uh, in the in the Reynolds flow model, we had recommended that the the constant property solutions be corrected by m mix w by m mix infinity. So, in laminar boundary layers, we have shown that the the ratio is indeed important. What about turbulent cooled flow? Now, in the turbulent cooled flow, the scalar transport equation will be n w omega g minus omega g t equal to rho m into effective diffusivity into d omega g by d y and where read rho m into d turbulent would be rho m into nu t ref by Schmidt number in the turbulent case. This is the effective uh, the turbulent Schmidt number, but now from van Drist model what would be nu t reference? Nu t will be mu t by ref into L m square uh, equal to L m square into d u by d y and in our case d u by d y is a constant because we are using a quiet flow model. If I were to interpret L m square substitute for L m from van Drist model, it will be nu t whole square divided by uh, u tau into kappa y square into 1 minus exponential of y plus by a plus whole square multiplied by c which is d u by d y. Uh, and this will become c times u ref square. Oh, okay. This would be the case, uh, the first expression is for when y plus is less than 26, the second expression where the mixing length becomes constant with respect to y, uh, y plus is greater than 26. Now, what is this factor nu uh, c times nu ref divided by u tau whole square? c into nu ref divided by u tau square will be c times uh, nu ref divided by u tau whole squared will be c times nu ref squared into u tau divided by u tau squared is simply rho ref divided by tau wall. And as you know tau wall will be mu times du by dy at the wall, but that is equal to mu times c and therefore, you will see c times nu ref squared uh, rho ref will divided by mu ref divided by c. So, c and c gets cancelled mu ref and rho ref gets cancelled with one nu, nu ref and that will be equal to nu ref itself. So, that is what I have shown here at the bottom of the slide that this whole factor c uh, nu ref whole squared by u tau is nothing but nu ref itself. So, nu t ref the turbulent viscosity divided by density would be equal to the laminar viscosity divided by the, the density into these, these functions of y, y plus for y plus greater than 26 it will be simply a constant. 
and therefore substituting for dt and rho m which is a function of omega g and therefore omega uh, y we will have n w equal to omega g minus omega g t uh, in this expression. I am now replacing d t. Uh, I will have n if I take rho m d common then I will get 1 plus nu t ref divided by Schmidt turbulent Schmidt number divided by uh, diffusion coefficient into omega d omega g by d y. And if I were to substitute for nu t ref and also rho m first of all, I will get d p m a by m g divided by r u t uh, u tau by nu ref m a by uh, omega g plus m g into 1 minus omega g into f into d omega g by d y plus and this big factor f is simply 1 plus s c by s t kappa y plus square. This is a little algebra uh, that is easy to perform. So, you will see that the f function uh, will vary with y only for y plus less than 26, but would remain constant for y plus greater than 26. So, now if I transfer uh, if I carry out the integration in the in uh, just as I did in the previous case uh, in which uh, I bring omega g minus omega g t on this side and put it under d omega g by d y and integrate from 0 to delta plus then you will see uh, if I take n w equal to g b then p by m g r u t equal to rho g again and u tau equal to u infinity under root c f x by 2 then the left hand side would be g over rho u infinity under root 2 by c f x Schmidt number into int where int is 0 to delta plus into d y plus by f which is means uh, sorry which means I have simply transferred f on the left hand side with a multiplication d y plus uh, and the right hand side would be m a by g into integration of all this and we have carried out this integration before for laminar boundary layer. Uh, and it would remain the same it will be ln 1 plus b star or b star and b star would be b into 1 plus omega g t m a by m g minus 1. Uh, now, taking a plus equal to 26 that is assuming a smooth wall and the turbulent Schmidt number equal to 0 0.9 uh, this in this factor integrating factor can be in uh, integrated once for all because as you will see f is simply a function of y plus. Uh, so, uh, one can integrate that uh, depending on what the molecular weight is. So, the int is equal to 9.62 because remember the Schmidt number would be a function of molecular weight of the gas being injected. You already know that uh, uh, I have given you the values of diffusion coefficient for CO2 and air. So, one can readily work out the Schmidt number. So, when Schmidt number is 0 0.96 which is for CO2 the int factor is 9.62, but for hydrogen and air it is 14.57 and for helium and air well almost 14.62 for both of them because the Schmidt number for both of them is 0.22. So, uh, you can see that the factor int makes a significant contribution to the left hand side uh, because it depressed it reduces I mean it, it is 9.62 uh, or for CO2 and 14.57 for helium or and hydrogen. Uh, so, as a result we can show now that G V P divided by rho G U infinity which is a kind of a, a mass transfer Stanton number if you like. Uh, into under root 2 by c f x into Schmidt number will be 1 over int into ln 1 plus b star by b star or I can say that g v p by g star variable property will divide by g over g star constant property will again be equal to ln 1 plus b star by b star into b over. So, this result is again same as that for a laminar boundary layer this is because it is assumed that the value of int is the same for both constant property and variable property conditions. This is an assumption we have been making that these the mixing length distributions are not influenced by whether there is a mass transfer uh, whether there is a property variation 
or there is not any. The int factors remain the same both uh, under variable and constant property conditions. The int factors simply give you resistance to mass transfer due to turbulence. So, uh, noting that G V P is significantly influenced by uh, integrating factor which is a function of Schmidt number. Schmidt number. So, the actual value of G over G star V P will be influenced by the Schmidt number. We now take up a problem. Benzene evaporates from the outer surface of a circular cylinder. So, let us say I have a circular cylinder like this on which benzene has been put and there is a cross flow across the, across the cylinder and therefore, the benzene evaporates the approach velocity v infinity is 6 meters per second. Now, from experiments for the same case uh, of flow over the cylinder, heat transfer coefficient h cough has been determined to be equal to 85 watts per meter square Kelvin and this is when there is V is w is equal to 0. That means, there is no mass, uh, no mass transfer from the wall, but in the present case because of the evaporation there will be mass transfer, but under the say under this experiment being conducted without mass transfer gave h cough of uh, 85 watts per meter square Kelvin. And here the B has been found to be 0.9 that is uh, this is omega uh, g infinity minus omega g w over omega g w minus uh, omega g t has been found to be uh, or in this case actually it is 1 simply is 0.9. So, allowing for property variation estimate n w n value of omega w. So, remember omega g infinity here is, uh, is 0, omega v w, omega v w and omega g t being the only gas uh, is minus minus. So, that is equal to 0 0.9 that is what has been given to you and that gives you omega v w equal to 0 0.4737 as the first answer that is what we want to get for omega w. And therefore, we take the mean concentration would be 0 0.2368 because remember omega v infinity omega g infinity is 0 and therefore, C p m would be uh, 1.69 times mean specific heat that is the been given to you plus 1.01 .01 into 0.7632 which is the uh, which is the specific heat of air uh, which gives you 1.171 kilojoules per kilogram kelvin and hence the g star for this case is h cough v w equal to 0 divided by cpm would be 0 0.0726 kg per meter square second now m mix infinity is 29 whereas m mix w will be 0 0.4737 divided by 78 plus 0 0.4263 divided by 29 raised to minus 1 or 41.28. So, this is what we get as the mixture uh, molecular weight in the w state. If we were to apply our, uh, uh, our Reynolds flow model with property corrections, then you will see uh, on this slide as you will see. Uh, g over G V P over G star over G, uh, G star C P would be L n 1 plus B divided by B into Prandtl by Schmidt number raised to 0 0.37 because the Nusselt number for pure heat transfer without mass uh, without any suction or blowing uh, varies as Prandtl raised to 0 0.37 and this is a very uh, well known book by uh, well known work of Zukowskaus extensive work on flow over cylinders, variety of Prandtl numbers uh, with and without property variations and uh, the constant property solution uh, uh, correlation that uh, Zukaskas has developed is, 
n u c p being proportional to 0.37 and therefore, the firstly we must uh, allow for Prandtl and Schmidt number variations which are 0 0.71 and 1.71 as we calculated raised to 0 0.37 therefore and then we must uh, also allow for m mix infinity divided by m mix w we are raised to minus 0 0.67. So, you get ln 1 plus 0 0.9 divided by 0 0.9 into 0 0.71 divided by 1 0.71 0 0.37 and m mix infinity is 29 and this value we just calculated. So, you get 0 0.6525 and as a result g v p will be g star which was calculated as h cof v w 0 divided by c p as 0 0.0726 uh, multiplied by 6525 uh, uh, equal to 0 0.0474 kg per meter square second. So, this is what Reynolds flow model with property correction gives us. So, the effect of property variation is to reduce G V P compared to G C P. Right. Now, let us see what quiet flow theory uh, advises us and that is the calculation I have done on the next slide. So, if we followed the quiet flow theory which as you know is an approximate theory then in this case B star would be omega G T is equal to 1 M A by M G as you know is uh, uh, for ben uh, 29 and for benzene the molecular weight is uh, the molecular weight for benzene is 78. So, you take 29 by 78 uh, and put here 1 uh, and calculate B star then you get 0 0.3346 0 0.3346 and therefore, G over G star V p is be ln 1 plus B star over B star which is 0 0.8626. Now, under variable property conditions and with V w equal to 0, Zukowska says that H cof V p will be H cof C p into parental raise to 0 0.25. Therefore, G V p would be G star C p into 0 0.71 into 25 uh, into 0 0.6626 equal to 0 0.0575. Now, this value is not the same as 0.474. But nonetheless, it shows you this is greater than that, but in it nonetheless shows you uh, that uh, our, our model is able to show that G V P will be smaller than G C P, which is you know was was only G star C P, uh, which is 0 0.0726 into 1 plus B by B. Only that factor would have come in. And therefore, uh, our, our solution does show that quiet flow model predicts the correct trend that G V P should be depressed compared to G C P uh, compared to uh, G C P. So, that is that is precisely what this result also shows. To that extent quiet flow model has justified the property correction recommended uh, in the Reynolds flow model, which of course, was based on solution of boundary layer equations, the complete boundary layer equations under variety of conditions. And therefore, we do not expect the correction derived from quiet flow model to give us the same uh, amount of reduction, but nonetheless it does show that there is a molecular weight effect or the effect of property variation is definitely to depress the uh, variable property value of G. So, with this I conclude uh, discussion of quiet flow. In the next two lectures, I will consider uh, the application of Reynolds flow model uh, to various problems.